This is part three of our introduction series, Introduction to Offshore Oil Rigs. This video is meant only for survey crew, those who go on board a rig, only for positioning the rig. This video is tailored only for Indian region. The variety of oil rigs will differ in different countries. Oil rigs are moving drilling platform whose job is to drill in the specific area of the seabed for oil and natural gas. And by doing that, they can fairly estimate the quality and quantity of the product. There are mainly three types of oil rigs that operate in India and it depends on the depth of the water where they need to drill. Most common in India are the jack-up rig that can operate up to a water depth of 100 to 150 meter. Beyond 150 meter and almost up to 500 meter of water depth, we use semi-submersible oil rigs. And beyond 500 meter, we use drill ships and almost all of them are DP vessels. As a surveyor, our main job is to position the rigs in correct position. Now it may also happen that some of the rigs use very sophisticated positioning equipment for their dynamic propulsion and they themselves can go to the place where they want. But still, personnel from a survey company is generally present with their independent equipment mainly to cross verify the position. Now let's talk about various rigs in little details that as a surveyor we must know. A jack-up rig is generally triangular in shape with three legs. Accommodation and control tower along with helideck will be at the bow of the vessel. Stern of the rig is mainly the drilling platform which can move 5 to 6 meter. And during drilling this platform move out of the rig. A jack-up rig can be positioned in a seemingly empty sea. This is for exploratory drilling to find new areas of interest. Or it can be positioned directly on top of a platform to extend the drilled well. Exploratory position is rather easy and sometimes need not to be in exact coordinate. But it also happens that sometimes the rig re-enters the previously drilled well and this is where very accurate positioning is required. Entry to an existing platform is tricky and need very precise maneuvering. Jack-up rigs have no propulsion system and are towed by three powerful anchor handling tugs. These tugs are also used during positioning of the rig. Survey team generally have positioning system on the jack-up rig only, but it may also happen that client ask for HD positioning system with telemetry so that the rig mover can precisely control the tug movement from the rig itself. Semi-submersible drill rigs are huge. There are huge columns going down in the water and there will be big pontoons under it. During drilling operations, the pontoons and the columns can store water as a ballast to lower the rig down and thereby lowering the center of gravity and making it very stable. These semi-submersible vessels can be self-propelled, can be dynamically propelled and can have multiple anchors. Most of the time the semi-submersible rigs lay out anchors. So surveyors have to install survey system on the rig as well as in the anchor handling vessels. Furthermore, we have dynamically propelled drill ships. These are big behemoth DP vessels designed to operate and drill in deeper than 500 meters of water. They will have multiple positioning system which is used for station keeping during drilling operations. Normally, they do not use anchors during drilling. Here the surveyor's job is a little easy as they don't have to install system in multiple places and they don't have to use telemetry for anchor handling. So in conclusion, as a surveyor, it is our only job to see that the rig is positioned as per client requirement. 
we do not get involved in the drilling operation. Sometimes client may ask for water current during BOP installation and then you need engineers and oceanographers to install Doppler current meter and help client install the BOP. Sometimes during re-entry, client may also ask for ROV assistance. So this is the end of part 3 for familiarization of oil rigs. Let me know if I missed something. I hope this was useful for new joiners in the survey field. Share this with your friends and colleagues.